Yeah. All right, we're live. Hi, Hayward. Hayward. Where's Tara? Who is that? Oh, we can see the eyeball. It's all good. <laughs> it's like, oh my oh, goodness, he's so cute. All right. Well, welcome everyone. Um, we'll just give people a few minutes to kind of uh, tune in here. Um, I see a few people kind of dialing in and we'll get the camera adjusted, but we are here with PADS VIP Hayward and his boy, Evan, and his uh, new mom, Christy, who is kind of peeking in from the corner there. Hi. <laughs> Hayward likes to steal the show. He does. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just uh, wait a minute or two here to let everybody get tuned in. And for those of you that are already in and are watching, um, feel free to type any questions you might have. Um, Evan said he's more than happy to answer questions. Christy will answer questions yeah. or I can answer questions. Hayward on the other hand, yeah. uh, yeah. responds simply with tail wags. <laughs> but, yeah. hey. So, yeah. all right. So I'm, um, hello, Lise from Vancouver. Um, thank you for showing me that our chat is indeed working. Um, and hello, Fanny, who is one of our uh, volunteers here. So, all right. So we, I think we have most people in here. So I will just start by asking, how is it you came uh, to learn about PADS? How did you find out about PADS? and our VIP program. So I knew about PADS for many years because I used to teach uh, dog obedience on the North Shore for a well-known trainer for many years. And I knew that that was kind of on a bucket list to be involved with PADS at some point when my kids were older. Um, I wanted to uh, maybe volunteer, raise a pup, do something. Um, and then I never knew about the VIP program until uh, a coworker had kind of off the cuff mentioned that she knows a family who uh, had a VIP dog. And I was, I was so surprised and shocked and excited. I'm like, what, tell me more. And so she gave me all the information and we filled out the application and um, we were paired up with Hayward shortly thereafter. Yeah. And Hayward is looking very relaxed. Tell us a little bit, um, maybe Evan, do you want to tell us a little bit about your dog? What is he like? Um, he's really calm and, and a really good boy. He is a really good boy. Um, he does look very, he, very calm. And, yeah, he doesn't even bark, which is the best thing, because uh, barking kind of startles me a little bit. Yeah, I know that's true of a lot of people. The dog I have doesn't bark either. And I didn't know that there were dogs that don't bark until um, until I was with Pads. And so, yeah, for some people it's startling. Some people like it. They like to know when somebody's there or at the door, but that's very cool that he's so quiet yes. and such a good boy. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that are just dialing in with us here, um, Feel free to um, click on the Q&A box and type questions into the Q&A and we will um, ask um, Christy and Evan your questions. And Mr. Hayward, that is quite the bow tie, buddy. <laughs> Evan made that bow tie for school. Yes, project. it is a school project. It's, um, it's a thing to uh, raise money and uh, help the people of pads. We donated of it. Pads. Yeah. I donated it. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. How many bow ties did you make? Um, 180, I think. That is a lot of bow ties. With the help That's of his mother. With some help from it. <laughs> My goodness. That is yeah. a lot of, that a is lot. A lot of bow ties. <laughs> yes. That's very cool. It's, it's an entrepreneur. An entrep that is a big word. And it was <laughs> at such a young age. <laughs> so, how old are you, Evan? Eleven, almost turning twelve. That's awesome. And 
so you got this awesome dog and does is he just a good does he help you um and and what is that like for you to have this dog it feels so nice i've been wanting a dog um when i was at a really young age okay. yeah and he helps me with anxiety by looking at me and and letting me pet him and him resting on my knee, which helps me feel that makes it warm. That's and awesome. Makes me feel calm too. That's so cool. I heard so so tell me where Hayward sleeps at night. He sleeps on my bed. <laughs> And how awesome is that? I heard that was kind of a big deal for you. Is that true? Um, well, it was, that was a while ago, but I'm, a, I'm comfortable with it now. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, we used to dog sit for friends a lot, and they would always be more attached to me, and they were never here long enough to attach to him. So he used to always say, I wish we had our own dog who would sleep on, on the bed with me. And so as soon as Hayward came, that was the goal, that he would be sleeping on Evan's bed with him. And when we had him for the trial for the first night, he went up there and he slept the whole night on the bed with Evan. And he, Evan, the next morning, he was like, my dream came true, mom. My own dog got to sleep with me on my bed. And it was like, they bonded so quickly, I think, because of that one little thing yeah that's awesome and and um how long have you had hayward now almost a year and almost we're thinking of having a anniversary party yeah you almost know what we call that here at pads we call that gotcha day oh yeah that's a good because thing. sometimes if you get a puppy when they're just a baby then you just celebrate their birthdays but but when you get a dog when it's older, you can celebrate gotcha days. That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it went fast. Already a year almost. So, Evan, what would you say if there was other kids out there that um, wanted a dog or needed a dog to help them feel happy and calm like Hayward makes you feel? What, what would you suggest to them? Do you have advice on having your own dog? Oh. Hmm. I'm, Would you recommend your friends to have their own dog? Yes. Because? Be, because it's really good. It's a, it's really good for companionship. It is. Mm. You're right. You always have a best friend around? Yes. He is my best friends and I'm happy with that because I always because I love him sleeping on the bed because it's the best part about me going to sleep. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Do you help look after Hayward Evan? Yes. Yeah. I feed him sometimes his favorite treats. I um I sometimes train him in places that are comfortable. Mm -hmm. And um, I walk him. I also walk him sometimes on the leash, and and um, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's I think that's about it. That's very cool. Well, he looks very relaxed with you there. Is he still uh, right now? No, not I'm not quite. sure. Not quite. Not quite. Hey, what you doing? You just gonna be lazy or what? So what, what about you, Christy? Have you noticed um, a change in your family um, since Hayward came to live with you? What, what's it been like having this boy? Yeah, it's, um, it's, there's been so many things. I, I didn't have a lot of expectation going in. I just wanted um, Evan to have the comfort of a dog and sleep with him and help open up and, and experience the bond of the attachment of a dog and he because of his energy and because he's so calm it calms him down so when when evan is feeling anxious it just helps being near him and i think because he's so big 
that also helps. There's nothing better than an 85 pound dog, you know, cuddled up right beside you or on you. Yeah. And you, you just, it's a quick um, way tool to kind of unwind and relax. And I find that he's just con a constant, right? He's just always kind of that way. Very steady. Yeah, yeah very steady. So um, it's nice in that way. And when I find that Evan's anxiety kind of peaks a lot at night going to bed. And so it's been really nice to have Hayward there. The weight of him, um, Evan spoons him. We've, um, he's now getting to, you know, talk to him, tell him how he feels. I keep telling him Hayward's a good listener. So that's, that's been a great addition oh, that's very to exciting. help support Evan. Um, he also said just recently that he keeps him feeling safe in the dark because he doesn't quite like the dark. Yeah, so when his nightlights kind of go off, he just knows he's there. And I think also too with the anxiety, that feeling of a bit of darkness too. I think it he meant both ways. Yeah. Which is amazing. Um and then there's times where as a as a mom with a, a child that has um, you know, autism and anxiety, I think I take on a lot of that too. Things anxiousness and trying to, you know, support him and in a way, Hayward has taken a little bit of that off of my shoulders as well, which is nice. Or there's times where um, I may not realize that I'm feeling a little bit more anxious and I find that he's kind of wanting to be on top of me and I'm like, what's going on? You know, I'll sit for a second and have a coffee and he's on, like he's literally in my lap and it's like, oh, okay, I actually really needed that. Yeah. So that's been great. I never thought about the rest of the family. I was more thinking of for Evan. So we've all been a little bit surprised at just how much he gives everybody, which is nice. Yeah, it is very cool to see. And I think the thing that's super cool for me to see is I knew Hayward quite well through yeah. puppy raising. Um, I was working in the training or the puppy raising department at the time. And, and you know, I know his puppy raiser jokes that um, he didn't like closed in spaces like kennels and cars and things like that. And he would say his problems are too big for this box. And, you know, when I've seen Hayward here and with you guys, he's just so relaxed and content. And I think that's the beautiful part of this program is that it also gives um, our dogs who are extraordinary, like Hayward, a path mm -hmm. to use all of that extraordinariness um, without yeah. putting them in a position where they're like, oh, this is too much for me, right? Like, he's yeah. like, he's like, I can thrive here and use all the good stuff that I have, um, you know, to help and kind of be with this family without without me being super, you know, without him being super stressed. Yeah. So um, he's always been a really good boy um, that, that just loves people. Yeah. Um, so that is no surprise at all, Evan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, but it's, it's neat too to see him not only being a good boy, but a really content, happy good boy. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> he's like, I'm just going to get comfy. He's like, do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> I need a little more room to stretch. I know. You probably can't even see him. Hayward. Hey, Are you sleepy, buddy? Yeah, oh, what's going on? So <laughs> oh, I love him. Um, yeah. So, is there anything else um, that you want people to know about Hayward? Um, um, he's just an all around fantastic dog. And it, the no barking it ha is a big deal. And I think that when you have kids with sensory issues, you may not kind of realize what a big deal that is. And, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, noise is, is, Evan really struggles with noise. And especially when um, you don't know, it's like unpredicted. You just don't know when the dog's gonna bark. So yeah. the fact that he doesn't have to be on edge waiting for Hayward to possibly bark makes him connect with him a lot better. There have <laughs> been a few times when he has been off leash and he's excited to see his good neighbor dog friend. 
and he's barked maybe three times and it was not I wouldn't call it a bark it was kind of like a bark and it was hilarious because we all kind of looked at each other like was that him but the look on his face was kind of like where did that come from what, what? <laughs> and so it was just he's goofy he's funny he makes us laugh um yeah it's hilarious but the other thing too is because of the you know with covid and the anxieties around covid for um for us and for a child who kind of likes to have routine all life routines have been interrupted the only thing that's that's been constant is the routine at hayward so that's brought normalcy throughout every day we need to take him out we need to take him you know a couple times a day one for a really long walk two other you know walks and so that has brought normalcy in our days which has been great we've been really lucky with the timing of having him with us too yeah yeah well it's certainly been i mean it's been hard on people a lot but i know particularly um kids that thrive in routine you know yeah. most do and so that's very cool that he's brought kind of that extra little element in of schedule yeah. itself. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's been, it's been really great that way. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, for those of you that are on the call, um, feel free to click on the Q and A box. If anybody has any questions, um, you can type them into the Q and A and we will answer them. Otherwise we will let um, Hayward and Evan get back to um, cuddling and playing. Uh, Hayward looks very tired today. You have a <laughs> Evan, to, or is this just normal Hayward? This is fairly normal Hayward, but he had a really good um, swim at the river yesterday or last night. So, um, yeah. Did you this go swimming too, Evan, or just Hayward? Um, just Hayward yesterday, mm -hmm. right? That was the other day, but last night was just Hayward. Yeah. <laughs> all over you though? Did you kind of get wet too? Always. Always. That's par for the course. <laughs> par for the course. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you both for taking the time to join me today and you too, Mr. Hayward. Although, you know, most people don't sleep through interviews, Hayward. Yeah, it's kind of rude. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's like, I'm the strong silent type. It's fine. I just rely on my good looks. So. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you both so much. And um, Elise is just saying such a beautiful, chill dog Hayward is. So, um, yes, he is indeed. And that is definitely his, uh, his strong suit here. So, um, thank you both so much for joining us. And, um, it, it's nice to just hear what some of our dogs do, um, in different ways. Um, you know, I think sometimes, um, our volunteers feel like if they don't make it as a service dog that they've somehow they're somehow less than, but uh, right. the two of you chilling out here um, is uh, is a pretty special thing, Evan. So I thank you so much for um, taking such good care of him yeah. and giving him such a great buddy because he just looks like the happiest dog. Yes, he yeah. he did something extraordinary in my life. Did he? Yes, when we first, when I first saw him, he was like, and I was like, I can just like be a change in my life, a fresh start. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you, because thank you. you gave him yeah. a fresh start too, didn't you? Yes. So it's kind of cool because you did something very special for him and he did something really special for you. Yeah. I feel like the so VIP cool. dogs are just of a different type of service. Yeah, they are. They do provide a big service to the families and we're so appreciative. Well, we're very grateful for, for you guys too. Yeah. So um, you um, give that boy a big old uh, smooch. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and uh, Lisa's just saying that's awesome for Evan to have such a special dog. So um, I couldn't agree more. So we are going to let you go on that wonderful note. And uh, 
thank you both so much for taking the time to join us. And we hope to see you soon when this crazy yeah. service this is over. Um, and yeah. um, for those of you listening, um, we are going to be taking a break for a couple of weeks. Um, I am going on holidays finally. Um, so for a couple of weeks, we're not going to have any guests on our Tuesday podcasts. Um, we are going to have a couple of um, Facebook live streams, um, one um, this Saturday at 10 a.m., um, we're kicking off our MOVE event. We've got a wonderful supporter that is going to be cycling from Burnaby all the way to Calgary um, to raise money for PADS. Um, and we'll be inviting all of you. You can find out um, more at pads.ca slash MOVE. And then I'm really excited because the first week of September, we're going to have one of our hearing dog clients, Rose, with Elfie, join us on the podcast. So um, okay. register for that. Um, our hearing dogs are very special dogs indeed. Um, they act as ears for their clients. Um, and so um, Rose is amazing. She's been with Pads for a long, long time. She's her second Pads dog, Elfie. So you can register for that um, at pads.ca slash tune in Tuesday. And I look forward to seeing you all there. But thanks for joining us, guys. And um, to uh, give Hayward a big smooch when he wakes up, okay, Evan? We will, for sure, right? Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Take care, you too. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey. Bye.